Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel with today's subject being Do you ride on a wing and a prayer or do you plan for your safety as you ride? In this video I aim to explain the difference of a thinking biker one which goes beyond thinking and also includes having plan B's up their sleeve for all hazardous situations. And to those of you who are new to the channel then welcome and please take the time to view my other videos as they're all about motorcycle rider training and safety and often interlinked for your pleasure. And if you'd be so kind as to like and subscribe I would thank you ever so much. So what is the thinking biker? Well to understand this it would be easier if you simply watch my last video entitled Can Bikers Really Think? The link for this video is in the description below. I would advise that you pause this video, open up another window and watch that one then return here. After which you will understand that this IM Road Smart Trainer Group simply do not understand themselves the concept of the thinking biker and have failed to do so for the 60 odd years that they've been in business. I hear you ask, what is a plan B? A plan B is a separate course of action which you pre-think about whilst approaching any road situation which has elements of danger in a bid to reduce your reaction time when it all goes wrong. And let's face it, we've all been there. When you intend to plan, let's call that your plan A, is disrupted by the actions of other road users and or circumstances beyond your control, you can quickly switch to a plan B in a bid to enhance your personal safety. Plan Bs are something which the IM Road Smart do not talk about whilst training because they've already dumbed down their information to a level which you and I can understand because they think we are all dumb. Go and see the UK dumb bikers video if you wish. So what is thinking? Well thinking it said is the process of considering or reasoning about something. It's cyclable. It's a question and answer process that you run internally within your conscious decision making processes until such times as you receive information that is logical to you and backed up with the evidence that you've seen through asking questions so that you can then make a rational judgment. Show intelligence. The problem that we have as humans in a modern educated world, for example here in the UK, is that all of our thinking from birth has been done for us. From the moment you begin to learn as a newborn child and throughout the rote educational process up to and including the indoctrination of preached societal norms, we simply cannot escape from being told what to think, not how to think. And wasn't it John D. Rockefeller who was quoted that he didn't want a nation of thinkers, which has since set the precedents historically for commercial business and employment globally. If individuals are found to think for themselves, they are often seen to be outside of societal norm and accused of having mental health issues. Well, try and tell that to the likes of Einstein, Elon Musk, Gandhi, Leonardo da Vinci, the list goes on. Fill your boots. Once we complete our education and pass those exams, we're released into the world where we begin to make choices based upon what we were told to think. Some of us, however, for some reason, choose to become a motorcycle rider. Unfortunately, this is a dangerous hobby, especially if you choose to be a street rider on public roads, where you have to try and navigate through all the other road train members of society who tend to operate their vehicles without appearing to think at all. So what can you do about all of the above? In a word, think that when surrounded by society, it's difficult for anyone to think clearly when being told what to think by others and what they expect of you. Therefore, if you cannot think of how to ride more safely for yourself, it is easier to join a group 
or approach private companies like I Am Road Smart and pay them to continue to tell you what to think when you ride, not how to think. So when should you begin to plan for your next motorcycle journey is the question. It should begin before you leave the comfort of your own armchair. You need to think about a whole host of things to ensure that your journey is as safe as can be before you even engage first gear. And all of this information will be covered in subsequent videos. And also think about what happens along the ride in relation to your plan B's. And I shall cover many different plan B's in subsequent videos as well. But for today, I shall cover my previous video, which is linked in the description below. In that video, I challenged this IM's dictatorial on the two choices which they say a thinking biker has when surprised by a hidden road speed sign dictating a reduction in speed from 60 to 30 mile an hour as you exit a bend before you arrive 100 yards later at some houses. They attempted to highlight what a thinking biker should do and having disagreed myself, I presented information on how a thinking biker might think. So let's rewind that video to the point where you, the rider, was surprised by this hidden reduction sign. Due to being a thinking biker with the best will in the world of being proactive in all of your observations. And due to the local council not being vigilant, saving money enough to cut back overgrown foliage and to ensure that their road sign continues to meet all legal requirements as dictated by the Secretary of State, you still do not identify its location. So there, whilst applying your thinking and having not located the sign, boom, it just appears in your peripheral vision as you pass it. Now your animal instincts are wanting to kick in and now try and revert you to being a reactive rider such as the IEM's trained riders and not the usual thinking biker that you know you are. And as you negotiated the bend and proactively searched for the speed sign, you would have previously thought about a plan B. What if there is a lower speed sign, but I don't see it due to the proximity of any other identified hazard, such as the buildings up ahead? I will consider to reduce my speed regardless to 30 mile an hour, unless it's unsafe to do so. All plan Bs are not bulletproof, but go a long way to improve your survival rate, far greater than anything the likes of IAM Road Smart may offer. To ride without thinking for your own safety, it's just a game of Russian roulette, and at some point, it will go... <laughs> and that's when you wake up, hopefully, on the hospital bed with a time to reflect. To be a thinking, proactive rider, it's just common sense. In this otherwise dangerous activity of motorcycle riding. To be a thinking biker who actively procures plan Bs on the fly is the survivalist, is the hunter, not the hunted. They say there are bold, not thinking bikers, and old, thinking bikers but there aren't any bold old bikers and I'll leave you to think about that and the question remains do you ride whilst playing Russian roulette waiting for the bang to happen or think about being proactive whilst continually making your plan B's on the fly let me know in the comments section below I read all comments but as always, riders, remember, think safe, ride safe, and I hope to see you applying all of your plan Bs the next time your plan A changes. Bye for now.